Coming up on the RMAC Showcase Expansion, the RMAC adds two new schools to the conference, making the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference 16 strong. Plus, an RMAC soccer superstar is the sixth pick in the MLS draft. An RMAC school helps a historic building get a makeover. An RMAC Hall of Famer gets honored by the NCAA. And we look ahead to the baseball, softball, and lacrosse seasons. A Metro State student athlete becomes an All-American in a sport she never intended to participate in. And the outpouring of support to Colorado Christian University. That's all ahead on the RMAC Showcase. Welcome to the RMAC Showcase, coming to you from the Colorado Springs Marriott Hotel. I'm Eric Danner. We start with conference membership as we have some big news in the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference. We have two new members, including the South Dakota School of Mines and Technology, as they officially became the 15th member of the RMAC. During a big press conference back on January 20th, the Hard Rockers are located in Rapid City, South Dakota, and are longtime rivals of current RMAC members, Black Hill State. School President Heather Wilson said the RMAC is a natural fit for mines and opens up great opportunities to compete in a regular schedule against traditional rivals in our region. It will be a joy to host these regional opponents in our great community. South Dakota Mines participates in 13 RMAC sponsored sports. They will begin competing in some of them as soon as this fall with all sports being phased in over the next two years. We talked to interim athletic director Tiffany McCampbell on the RMAC radio show and she can't wait to compete in the conference. Coaches are excited. Our student athletes are just beyond themselves. And, you know, it's, it's been a process. The NEA process is not a short one moving to Division Two, And so everybody's in very high spirits. But they're ready for the challenge. We will have some challenges ahead of us. But we're excited to, to task those on um, in the near future, especially from our coaching side, but especially from our administrative side as well. At the same meeting in January, the Ermac President's Council also voted to invite Westminster College into the conference. The Griffins have also accepted the invitation. Westminster is currently a member of the NAIA and have applied for membership in NCAA Division II. Once accepted, they would begin the process of joining the RMAC, which could be in the fall of 2015. Westminster College is located in Salt Lake City, Utah, and was a member of the RMAC from 1967 through 1979. We're now joined by Chris Graham, the brand new commissioner of the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference. Chris, welcome to the conference, welcome to the show. Nothing like uh, your first two months in and, and you already got conference expansion under your belt. Yeah, it's a pretty exciting time, Eric. Thanks for having me. We've got an uh, announcement of two new members and we're, we couldn't be happier about it. It's a great time in the RMAC. Chris, let's start off with the South Dakota School of Mines and Technology. Obviously, mines, uh, people are familiar with that term with the Colorado School of Mines in our conference uh, since uh, 1909. Uh, this is a school that, that brings a lot of things to the table, including uh, a very good educational uh, background, too. South Dakota School of Mines and Technology is a fantastic academic institution, uh, institution of higher learning. They have outstanding credentials, a great profile. Uh, they certainly add a great deal in that respect to the RMAC, as do a lot of our members and all of our members in many ways and what they bring to the table academically. Athletically, they also have very strong programs. They have programs that will fit our footprint very well. We have a natural rivalry with Black Hill State University. They've been one of the longtime rivals in the RMAC now that they've joined and will compete in conference competition. So in addition to the academics that you reference, there's a fantastic fit athletically that we're really excited about. And then Westminster College, you mentioned, they were in the RMAC in 1967 through 1979. Salt Lake City, Utah, you gotta be excited about having, having that member come in as well. Well, you know, we've been across four states uh, for the time being when we had Black Hills State come in a few years ago and added South Dakota to the map, and now we're extending west a little bit and going into Salt Lake. It's a great area for us. It's a great market. It's an exciting opportunity for our student athletes to see another part of the region. Uh, we feel it's a natural fit. There's a lot of opportunities that we have now with 16 members and the scheduling flexibility that that provides us and the unique opportunities that uh, our student athletes can get involved in with the addition of more sports sponsorship and uh, area regional teams that they might not have seen, especially with Westminster being an NAI school at this time. That is Chris Graham, commissioner of the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference.
Women's lacrosse is now an official RMAC sport. Lindenwood University out of St. Louis is the pick to win the league, as Shelby Polk is the preseason player of the year. Regis University is number two. The Rangers have preseason defensive player of the year, Sierra Perella, and preseason midfielder of the year, Danica Cutshaw. Regis is excited to have women's lacrosse now in the RMAC. Preseason midi of the year, preseason defender of the year, but a very versatile attack, really dynamic players all around the field. Everyone's ready to play in the RMAC and play against each other and you know win the RMAC championship. It's just different. It's pretty cool for all of us because it feels more official to be an RMAC team. So, I mean, we have our conference, so people are always like, oh, what is that? What does that mean? But um, now that we're RMAC team officially, I think it's it kind of feels like a step up for us. Still ahead on the showcase, a former Division I diver becomes an All-American runner at Metro State. Coming up next, one of the most feared men in the octagon, who's also an engineer, RMAC Hall of Famer Shane Carwin, who was recently honored by the NCAA. You're watching the RMAC Showcase.